Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel Software Tutorialer. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add pan and zoom onto your photos in Video Studio Pro X7. So you might have noticed that my previous tutorial to this one is how to add pan and zoom to your videos. So this one is slightly different. So what you do is you left click on your photo, press options, tick pan and zoom and then on this drop down menu there's a load of preset ones. For example the zooming in, panning left to right, right to left, up and down and a load of other ones here which you can choose from. So what you can do is just choose one of these and then apply it to your video. If you're not happy with it then you can customize it. So you can see here that this is what the path is. This is where it starts and this is where it finishes, the white one. So what you do is for the first one, this is keyframe one, you can change where you want it to start how big you want it to be, how much you want it to cover. So I'm going to keep mine to about here. This is the last one and you can see here it's the last keyframe. I want it to go to the right. I'm going to keep that level. However, I want it to go up a bit in the middle. So to do this, I'd go to my first keyframe, press play. When it gets to the middle, I can then place the slider to there press add a keyframe and you can see it's added a new one and then I'm going to lift this up to the top now when I put my keyframe to the beginning you'll see it will follow this path it will go up to the top and then it will come back down again so it goes up to the top and down again so that is how you add a pan and zoom onto your photos and also how you can change the path um, for your photos as well in Video Studio Pro X7. So if you didn't know how to do this, then hopefully this tutorial has helped you. If you did, then please stay tuned for more videos in the near future.